This is my good friend, Russell. He's a punk rock legend who also happens to be a chief engineer in the Merchant Marines. Russell works on some of the world's largest ships, but today he's kindly helping me prep this motor for lift out, which will be tomorrow or the next day. And my neighbor, Dan, is going to tow us over to the dock where we can get this motor pulled as quickly as we can. So now that the old diesel motor is out of there, we can turn our attention finally to cleaning the bilge, removing all the unnecessary hoses and filters, and basically that's the end of the diesel. Now it's my turn to get down into the, the dirty, greasy the bilge. Put it right behind you, where all that other shit is. I'll clean it out. Right now, let's get there. You know, this shit is nasty. tube is here, but it looks like a drain for something. That is nasty. This is nasty. Get a scraper down here, scrape the shit out of it. That part of the bill just keeps going 
it drops right there. There's a step, Steps and then down. it goes on back to where the shaft is. Okay. And it, oh, let me get it. I'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting a little. So I started by laying down these absorbent grease pads in the bottom of the bilge. I'd let them sit at least overnight and sometimes a couple of days. Uh, then I'd come back, remove the pads, scrape some more of the gunge off of the bottom, uh, put new pads down again. Uh, now I'm at the point where I'm uh, scraping and washing and getting some degreaser on there and I'm getting down to the point where there's no more sludge and it's starting to look better and better, but I'm gonna to have to do it a few more times before I can even think about applying any paint. For me, part of the problem and the reason I'm switching out of diesel to electric uh, is because of the pollution problems and what it's doing to our oceans. Uh, one of the issues we have while we're cleaning this is that the bilge itself is just filled with oil that we've had been having to pump into jerry cans and dispense at the proper facilities here in the dock. Uh, it's really important for me that we have a clean running solar powered system from top to bottom. So as you can see, uh, it's still pretty, pretty, pretty greasy and dirty, but this is my third time scrubbing the bottom. Uh, the sides are coming much cleaner. Uh, the bottom is still pretty bad, but there's not the same kind of sludge that there was. Uh, so it is getting better, believe it or not. And before too long, it'll be cleaned out, painted, and a brand new electric motor will sit right here. So the next time you see this bilge, it will be all nice and clean and freshly painted. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Yeah, definitely. Thanks, everybody. Uh, leave a thumbs up if you can. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do. Uh, next episode, we're going to be tackling the rest of this teak deck. 
Uh, I've been stripping the bad spots and putting in brand new teak and sealing all the screw holes and trying to make it look as nice as we can with this limited budget that we have. Should also be done with the bilge by then, so just another thing off the checklist. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs>